Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Go Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing, watching everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. We're very, very grateful. So thank you and hope you're doing alright. May you stay blessed. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Say hi or say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Hit the subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. Motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link and I'll be sure to react to it. So today I'm going to be reacting to Zakinai challenges Modi to debate on Hinduism the week. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. What does Modi know about Hindu scriptures? Let us have a dialogue, me and Modi. That person surely 100% is more inspired than Prophet Muhammad than me. Can you say that Prophet Muhammad said that we were moving? No. And I get the answer earlier. Unless you find a text in the saying of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that he told Kiran Singh. And I'm saying no. I'm, I'm nowhere compared to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. His level is much higher. But because of the popularity in, in the full world, the religious speaker, whether it be Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, the most popular religious speaker by the grace of Almighty God, it is Alhamdulillah myself. So it's bound to be the million following. I challenge anyone to say, I was inspired to kill innocent people to go to Dr. Zakir Naik, that means he's lying. And for NI or, or Modi to say that I inspired, where is the text? If someone proves me, that going back will benefit me thereafter, I'll come today, not tomorrow. But I have to see the history of the Prophet, what he did. When the Prophet was persecuted, he was in a minority in Makkah where he lived. He was persecuted, life was in danger. Then Almighty God sent a way, he sent a revelation that now is the time that you should migrate. And this is a normal human being. We cannot be a dead hero. If dead hero will benefit you, I don't mind. If I go back, what will happen? See, I have faith in the judicial system. It was better before than now. As I told you in the previous government before BJP came, you could expect if you speak even against the government, at least 20% you will get justice. In today, the chances if you are against the government, you will get justice, maybe 10 20 percent But the thing is, I've seen in the past when we see the history that out of the Muslims that have been charged with terrorism, more than 98% have been let free. But after 5 years, after 10 years, after 15 years, so if I'm going to look at an average, if I go back, I can, I'll be behind bars for about 10 years. My whole mission would get disrupted. Why should I be a fool? God says, trust in God, but I have okay. There is nothing in the Indian constitution which forces a Muslim to do something which is prohibited and prevents him from doing something which is compulsory. For example, we have to break compulsory fighter. Indian government doesn't say don't break. If the Indian government don't break, then there'll be a problem. Some of the states they don't have beef. Having beef is not compulsory in Islam. But not that if the government comes tomorrow, but I said that, I mean, they are laying allegations that Congress is close to me, I'm close to Congress. As I told you, every answer I can prove that I can prove reverse. Of course, of course. Scared for the country and for the Muslims. And country also. Country is going to the wrong. If a person comes and says, I follow all the principles of Hinda, I'd be very happy to live with him, then only a person saying I'm Hindu. What does Modi know about Hindu scriptures? Let us have a dialogue, me and Modi. Come on, we'll talk about Veda. If you talk me so much about Hindutva, what does he know about Hindutva? If you really know the principle, which or whatever it is. If a person says, I am going to follow Hinduism, I would respect him much more than what they are doing now. Hinduism says, Hindu scriptures say, don't cheat, don't tell lies, he's lying. How can he protect this? Just for his vote bank? Hmm. 
Dr. Zaki Naik is in exile because um, of the way he preaches. Did the Indian government have a, what can I say, a rough relationship with him because of the way he preaches, you know? Why, you know, but sometimes when, when you mix politics with certain things, religion, it's just, I don't even know, was it preaching? about something they didn't appreciate what well, I'm trying to understand the story here of course many people are going to say because I listened to Dr. Zaki Naik I did this but is it Dr. Zaki Naik that's telling you to do that you know you're following his preaching and um, what exactly was it about his preaching that they didn't like and when it comes to that's what I'm saying when it comes to politics it becomes a complicated issue I'm sure he would love to go back to um, India. People love going back where they come from. And um, why, because he mentioned something like being jailed. Why would they jail him? But what crime did he commit for him to be jailed? I'd love to understand that. Um, sometimes if your country is not letting you do what you are doing, especially if it's not harming anyone, then of course you are allowed to go anywhere in the world and seek um, asylum or whatever it is, you know, through many, many uh, legal ways. But this issue, I don't know, because it's dealing with the government, you know, it's so complicated and he's preaching, he hasn't stopped preaching because of them. They haven't hindered that uh, part. Uh, is it because he... Is it because a lot of people are converting around the world? That's why they don't like Dr. Zaki Naik? Is it because many Indians are not converting, reverting to Islam? That's why there's that tension. I'd really, really love to understand that. But if you guys understand this better than me, you can explain to me. I wish he spoke more about Modi and him having um, a conversation. I think it would be something worth listening to let me know what you think about the video what dr zaki Naik had to say your thoughts and what you just think about the situation at hand otherwise i think he's thriving he's still able to uh reach many people around the world that's why i was seated here reacting to dr zaki Naik. you're watching this uh many people are doing the same as well let me know what you think down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up but before you give it a thumbs up Suggest something in the comment section, just give me the name or the link and I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.